Welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host Ugo and today I do not have a cigar review but I have an unboxing of a package sent over from Eric. Smoke one if you have one. Eric and I are part of a discord group known as the Shadow Smokers Legion. He was actually the one that invited me over to that group a couple months back out of gratitude for inviting me to the cigar community. I sent him over a couple sticks, uh, some swag and whatnot. And Eric, he's a type not to be outdone by cigar bombs. So he's been putting together a bomb for me and it's here. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm gonna link his information down below, but I'm pretty sure if you follow me, you follow him. But just in case you don't know who it is, he's the guy that blew up and became very famous for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Thick boy, that was she saying. And he sometimes becomes a little bit aggravated on his videos and just does some crazy stuff like this. I'm so surprised. This thing is garbage cheap. Bovina! Thank you. Cigar suck. Butthole. You know, Eric, he's one of the pickiest guys to satisfy for cigars. He just has a comment about everything. Check it out. I have a dude on it. I don't like dude on a band. I like I don't I don't like Lancero. But it's okay. And a big I don't like small too small of a cigar. I don't like too big of a cigar. And this is too big. I don't smoke unbanded stuff. Yeah. If don't if it doesn't have a band, I ain't gonna smoke that shit. Not only that, but I think this guy might have a fascination over a certain part of the body because he's been known to rant over this stuff. You know, when you smoke it, it looks like a shriveled up dick or uncircumcised dick or something like that. That curve, boy. Jesus, crooked ass dick. <laughs> Alright, but no, seriously, at one point, Eric was normal because his videos looks a little bit like this. Back. All right, man, I'm done roasting my boy. You know, he's a good cat. He's funny as hell. He's got that dry, you know, Asian humor. He's always active in the videos and the chat of everybody. So Eric, I appreciate you for inviting me over to the Legion. It's been great getting to know you, Tony, all the other guys, all the new guys, uh, regardless, you know, whether there's horseplay, whether there's a little bit of bullying, a little bit of, of manly uh, S talking. You know, we're all a brotherhood and at the end of the day, we have a common goal to find and smoke good cigars. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this box and see what's inside. By the way, Eric, I appreciate you sending this over. Uh, like I said, you know, I had sent him over a package just because, you know, I was very grateful for him to open up the membership to that Legion. Um, everybody's been very, very welcoming. Nicely packed here. All right, this is gonna take a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna start, you know, whatever I grab first. And the first one I grab is one that I've kind of been curious about, the Dunhill Maduro. Um, I want to say this one is from the original ones. Um, not sure if it is of Cuban descent. Uh, Eric, let me know about that. Also, it's a little Corona, so I've been uh, inclined to smoke smaller ring gauge cigars, which that's cool. This is a brand that I just got into. I bought a, a few uh, Connecticut's really nice smooth Connecticut this is uh, looks like maybe a Sumatra to darker maybe a Habano nice thank you we have an Ipicarillo platinum bash I've seen these before uh, can't go wrong with Ipicarillo man you know he's the oldie but goodie all right another one that I've seen around the bits of Habana Nice little Rothschild, maybe. Not sure. Cool. We got a Ipicarillo La Historia. I have a couple of these. After that is the 
Encore Black Ibicarillo, my boy Matt with one T sent one of these over not too long ago. So very nice to have at least two sticks, uh, especially for review, you know, just to make sure um, there's consistency there. Alec Bradley Maduro. Experimental series, Project 40, okay. Never heard of that one. I don't know if it's like something hot or whatever, but we'll find out. Uh, we have a nice uh, La Roma de Cuba Pasión. This is uh, one of the uh, better Aroma de Cubas. Um, I love the Mi Amor Reserva. Uh, I have a few of these as well. And then next up we have a Maceda. Maceda. This looks like a, a double Robusto. This one I've never seen before, so I don't know. Eric, let me know what's up with this. It says Florida. Oh, Tampa, Florida. Maybe some, some grown. Probably. Okay, and we also have a Harlem Renaissance. This one here is also a new one to me. Never seen this one before, but thank you. All right, I finally get an Amazon Basin. It's uh, Toro 6x52 and it's the regular Basin. Um, I do wanna try the Extra Añejo soon, but thank you very much, Eric, for this one. I appreciate that, brother. Been trying to get that one. Uh, as everybody knows, those are sold out, hard to get, um, but yeah. A nice Alma del Fuego and what looks to be a Robusto 550. Perfect smoke right here, man. I have a Toro, which I kind of been putting off because it's a longer smoke, but this one is money, the size. All right, we got a Don Carlos Personal Reserve. Beautiful cigar here. I did just uh, purchase a few uh, Don Carlos in a sampler. I'm not sure if I got this one though, but Thank you, Eric. Now we have a Casa Cueva Patrimonio. Um, I believe this is a Corojo wrapper. I have smoked the Robusto. It was okay smoke. Matt with one T again, send me one like this as well. So now I have two. Beautiful. Okay, thank you for sending me this one, Eric. This is a new release of my father uh, Fonseca line, the Mexico edition. Uh, you know, I have been uh, looking into this one um, since it's a release for 2024. Very excited to try that one. Appreciate that, brother. And we got the Oliva V uh baseball bat i sent him one of these did you send this one back bro is this the same one i sent you let me find out i sent you one of these <laughs> that's funny sorry right. eric eric forgets everything by the way guys um what i do so i i don't get the sticks uh, mixed up um everybody that sends me bombs i keep in individual bags and i label who it's from because i want to give credit when i smoke that cigar even if I don't do a full-on review, if I do a short, or even just uh, post it on my story, you know, uh, typically um, now I'm not doing any full reviews for for hard to acquire cigars because what's the point, right? Like, you're not gonna be able to get them, so it's kind of like a waste of time to, for me. So a, sh a short or a, a story on Instagram is sufficient for me. And next up, this is another cigar, new release for 2024. You know, I've been hesitant to pull the trigger on it because it's not a cheap date. And it is the Davidoff Maduro and what looks to be a Toro size. Thank you, Eric, for sending me this one, brother. I appreciate it. Um, one goal for 2024, as everybody knows, I know I sound uh, rep repetitive, but it's getting into Connecticut blends. Davidoff is a brand uh, that offers a lot of Connecticut blends and you know, I've been a little bit off-putting of this brand because most of them are Connecticut uh, shade wrappers. 
but I know it's high quality tobacco. You know, there's consistency. So I appreciate you uh, sending this one over. I just had the uh, the late hour because it's a darker wrapper, and that's what calls my attention more. But I will get into Davidoff more. Uh, another beautiful stick, man. These for sure. Um, I appreciate these. These are oldie but goodies. Um, it is the Padron Family Reserva and what looks to be maybe like a box press Robusto Rothschild. Perfect size to smoke. These Padrones, you cannot go wrong with these, man. Even with the Thousand Series, they're consistent stick to stick to stick. Obviously, these are a little bit uh, or a lot more high priced. Um, I love the 26 series, the 64 series. Padrones are the way to go for that just, you know, elegant smoke, uh, dark, peppery, chocolatey muskiness. Um, so yeah. And we have another Opus Destino al Siglo. And this is, uh, looks like a, maybe a Toro. I forget, these guys have like, like you know, special names for the sizes but so I already smoked two of these uh, came from Peter and my buddy Roger working man cigars um, it was an okay introduction to Opus um, another brand that everybody knows is very hyped up very high priced and you know for me it was just like eh. especially you know the Destino al Siglo for me it was kind of like all right it's a cool introduction to Opuses you know I got a few more um, so slowly but surely getting into this okay like i mentioned in my lives uh, it's not a race you know we have a lot of time there's a lot of years ahead of us and slowly but surely getting into all the boutique stuff all the rares hard to find uh can't go wrong with legacy i love legacy cigars man you know so all right so last but not least um we got a los santos deluxe another cigar that i have been very curious about i've seen people post i want to say it's a hit or miss on this brand for some people um but hey like they say there's a uh, different smokes for different folks right so um and let's not forget as eric would say povida but it's not a povida it's a boost <laughs> so guys that's all i have eric smoke one if you have one thanks buddy um you know we're in constant communication supporting each other watching each other's videos he does awesome reviews down to earth guy uh very uh straightforward guy very honest reviews uh go check him out um i'm pretty sure you already follow him like i mentioned if you're following me i'm a newbie he's had the channel for uh, a lot more years than me and i appreciate you for inviting me to the legion uh for getting to to know you all the guys in the legion uh tony he's a he's a kick-ass dude man and that's all i have for you guys today thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one